Hey, this is Gabriel Castro from ExoticWoodPen.com and my Facebook page, Gilded Age Pins. So in this video, I need to make a clip for the pen that I just made. So we're going to do things a little differently with this one. Uh, this is still going to be a 50 caliber pen clip. And you can see what that is rounded like that. I flattened the other half out in the drill press. Uh, temporarily and anyway I'm going to take some uh, double-sided tape this is some scotch double-sided tape here that you see and let's see let me run this side down the whole length Okay, so the holes are there to help me line up and I have this small cut off piece of graph paper. If you line this up to it, you can uh, actually see where the holes are, but I'm going to have to do this off camera because I have to hold it up to the sunlight. Okay, that is attached. You can kind of see a little bit of a silhouette right there where those holes line up and how it lines up over here in the middle of this one here so um let me just hold that up to the light so you can get a better view of that okay i've traced some lines there and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this to the bandsaw on my uh bench top bandsaw i switched out the metal blade that you see when I cut these in half. So instead of putting this in a fancy jig or anything, I'm just going to go ahead and just cut this right off on the bandsaw instead. And that'll make, I think, this uh, clip process a little bit easier. And then I'll just re bend that back into shape with the damping block. Okay, so. At the band, so I'm going to try and keep my fingers out of the way here, but you can see we're pretty much uh, right, got about an eighth of an inch or, or a sixteenth of an inch on that side to take off and an eighth of an inch off that side. My main concern is keeping it in the middle of these boxes or, or right as close as I can. So it's symmetrical all the way or, uh, on, on both sides. So I get a nice straight cut. So that clip isn't uh, sideways on you, you know, or a little bit sideways.
Well, that took a little bit longer than what I expected, but you get the basic idea. And um, I'll just clean that up with a file, a metal file in the vise. Okay, this is the clip with the paper peeled off. Now we just gotta go take it to the bench to file it. So here's the back of the clip right here. And you can see the front. Um, now the inside of that is really rough and blackened from the powder. So I'm going to uh, basically just use the Dremel, but in the lathe, I'll have it attached and then we'll grind all that up and clean it up on the back side. Last thing we want is a dirty clip messing up someone's shirt. Okay, so in the lathe, I've got my Jacob's chuck with a small Dremel bit. And then you can see how rough that is if I come in a little bit closer. So we're just gonna refine that on the back side, make it nice and smooth, get rid of all those rough edges and get it nice and clean. And then we'll uh, do some flap sanding and contouring afterwards. the back side of that it's cleaned up quite a bit uh, before I do any flap sanding I just want to cut that end off and I'm not going to use anything special just a pair of old pliers I just want to cut that off right about there and then I just want to put a little bit of point like I can normally do on each side And then we'll further refine that My flat sander on here now. Now I'm just gonna go over this with the flap sander. In the drill press, I'm using my homemade damping block. We're just going to contour that. So I'm going to be using a punch, like so. And then if you've never seen this, this is just a piece of a scrap maple. I use this for a pen assembly and for bending things, bending gears. You don't have to have a fancy tool to do that. You just use what you have make use for it in a different way. So I'm gonna hold that 
let that lie in place. The other hand, just give a little push. Get one side going, then the other. In the middle. And you can see that's starting to take shape. And we'll just repeat the process till we get it to size. And then we'll switch uh, different size punch to get that to the correct contour. Okay, I did some shaping here. Uh, you know, so I can see how it would fit against the cap. I just used some hand tools. And you can see my tool marks. Just some pliers. And you can see what that looks like right there. That's, and that's about where it's going to land on the cap. On the finial on top. It needs a little bit of an adjustment, not much. But sideways here, you can see that when this is seated here, against the top this needs to be realigned a little bit better and shape wise on the front that's not too bad so it's just a little bit of a, a hand tooling here to get that lined up just right and I'm just using a pair of pliers bend it a little bit and brass is actually pretty springy, believe it or not. You wouldn't think it would be as far as a clip goes. But, oops. There. And it doesn't take much to bend that. It's seated all the way against the back. And I like the shape of it right there. Um, if I hold that correctly, you can see that that has a nice balance to it. Um, both sides so now we just got to polish it up and make sure that that looks right on top it looks a little bit crooked here but it's not but it's just a little bit of a uh, polishing I think we'll take care of that okay so back at the lathe um, need to handle the screws here now these screws they are small screws but the head on them is very round. You can see that. So what I like, a little bit flatter head. So I sand those down a little bit. So I'm just gonna put that in my Jacob's chuck. Nothing fancy. And in case you're interested, these are round slotted number two the 3 8 inch and then I just got these at my local home center and uh, one pack will last you a while I get a couple because I did, just so I'd never run out now I'm going to use my Dremel I'm gonna rough sand sand it first and then take a flap sander to it So as you can see, that's flattened out considerably, uh, which is pretty good. And then I will just polish that out back in here. And uh, I'm just going to use the Dremel on that. Switch into the little buffing wheel. I'm going to charge that real quick and then do that. I'll have to clean that head out with a toothpick or something, but you get the basic idea. 
a little bit more buffing and then we'll do that to both screws okay now the fun part I've got my wheel set up here my buffing wheel and we're just gonna polish this up I've got my charging here charge the wheel do that with the Dremel on the inside right here and that contour on the back but all in all I'm pretty happy with that okay so here's our cap I've got some high-tech electrical tape here nothing fancy no hocus-pocus right I've got my cap I'm just gonna put that towards the top where I know I've got meat on the inside to work with Gonna hold that, I'm gonna line that up. Some good old eyeball engineering, as I like to call it. Pull that kind of tight. Make sure that's lined right. And now I can start to tighten it up a little bit. There, the best clamp ever. Okay, so now uh, I'm just gonna drill those holes out. So in my little box where I keep it says clips and screws, those little organizers from Harbor Freight. I got uh, my stuff for clips, a couple extra clips there. My my template that I use. Of course, extra screws. Uh, the drill bit that I used for drilling these holes here is at 3:30 seconds, and then the drill bit that I'm going to use is a 1/16, and then you can see where my stop is. So I'm just going to drill that right there, and then they're going to intersect like that on the inside, but. Before I can do that, I need to trim just a little bit off of there, about a sixteenth of an inch off the screw, so that when you put one in, the other one doesn't hit, or they both don't hit. So, anyway, that's the next operation. Okay, so you can see this one here has already been trimmed. Nothing, uh, Unusual, they, they just snap, come right off. No hocus pocus, as they say, just a little technique. And then I'm just going to sharpen those a little bit so it's not flat cornered. And I'll do that with the Dremel. Then we'll drill those holes out. Okay, so there is the clip attached to the cap. And then that's what it looks like on the pen. And then again, this is the the USB. And that's also a 14 millimeter double start. Same as the cap right there. That's all that's a 14 millimeter double start thread.
Thanks for watching.